Hey everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. I of course had to do a versus video on Mortal Kombat, I mean it's just way too fitting not to. So we're going to be pitting the 1995 original Mortal Kombat movie versus the new 2021 version. I'm very excited to get into this, but before I do that I'm going to need you guys to like this video and subscribe for more horror contents. Also please consider supporting me on Patreon, the link for that will be in the description below. Alrighty, now let's get into it. Now before we get into this epic battle of Mortal Kombat, let's talk a little bit about these movies. Mortal Kombat is a 1995 American fantasy martial arts action film, and also a horror adjacent movie, that's, <laughs> that's my excuse here. Directed by Paul W.S. Anderson, this is the first film in the Mortal Kombat film series. It also has a sequel called Mortal Kombat Annihilation, it's really not worth your time at all, Paul W.S. Anderson doesn't come back for it, but that does not make it any better. <laughs> and then the new Mortal Kombat is a 2021 American martial arts arts fantasy film, which is also horror adjacent, and it's directed by Simon McCoy. It is feature directorial debut from a screenplay by Greg Rousseau and Dave Callahan. And the film is produced by James Wan, which is why I feel like it has a lot of horror touches throughout this film that I'm going to be talking about in a second here while we get into the good. Starting off with Mortal Kombat from 1995, the biggest thing about this movie is the music. It would be a travesty not to talk about the music from this film, which is one of the best soundtracks of any movie I've ever watched. Watch. Everybody knows the captivating Mortal Kombat theme that the Immortals wrote all those years ago. I mean, if you don't if you don't even know what I'm talking about, you have to watch this movie just for the soundtrack. I mean, it's it's wonderful. It's great. They kind of bring it back for the new one, but not really. Definitely the biggest plus for this movie. Also, I gotta give them a plus for the practical effects. Although not all of the effects are practical in this film, I will say that they did Goro practically, which is a big plus over this new film where they kind of just like CGI'd him in for like one fight scene. Props to you, 1995 movie. Moving Moving on to Mortal Kombat from 2021, I would say that the casting is perfect. All of the actors actually look like their characters from the game that they're trying to portray. It's it's perfect. I mean, there's literally not one person where I'm like, eh, they could have got somebody else. I mean, Raiden could have had long white hair, but that's fine. Overall, one of the biggest things that I was so excited about going into this movie was the casting. Everybody actually looks like their characters, which is a huge plus over the other film. The blood and gore. Even if it is CGI, I think it still looks really damn good. Good. Opposed to the 1995 film that really didn't have any blood or gore, this is a huge improvement over that. There's fighting combos from the actual games, there's actual fatalities from the games, and lines of dialogue that like just are right, right from the game, man. You couldn't have done this more perfect. The fight scenes from this movie actually look like I'm playing Mortal Kombat. Like the arenas from this movie look like actual Mortal Kombat maps that you can like go and fight on. Like it, it's so perfect. The Jackson Sub-Zero fight, actually I believe that is a map, like, uh, uh, maybe in, like, Deception, Mortal Kombat Deception. It looks like one of those maps from the games. I just have nothing but good things to say about this movie. I, it was so good. I'm probably gonna watch it, uh, like, a couple more times. Kano. Honestly, one of my least favorite characters from the original games is Kano. He's kind of just, like, a dude with a red glowing eye that shoots out a laser. It's like, eh, like, that's cool, but, like, compared to the other characters that shoot fireballs and freeze people to death, it's like, it's just kind of a little underwhelming. He kills it in this. The guy that plays him, so good. Kano absolutely stole the show, even if he did turn out to be a bad guy and then Sonya killed him. Spoiler alert, you shouldn't be watching this video if you haven't seen the movie yet. He added just the right amount of Deadpool humor that this movie needed really bad. In my opinion, this is a perfect movie adaptation to those games. As someone who grew up playing Mortal Kombat 3 all the time, this is a perfect adaptation. It does so many things that are so satisfying for Mortal Kombat fans like myself. It even acknowledges that you Universally, people hate that foot sweep thing that Liu Kang can do. I'm looking at you people who always play Liu Kang because you know all of his moves. But unfortunately, now is that time of the video where we have to move into the b -b -b bad The bad for Mortal Kombat 1995 is the casting. A lot of the characters from this don't look like their counterparts, like they whitewashed a bunch of characters. It's just not good casting in general. Like some of them are good, like I like Johnny Cage, I like Liu Kang, I like Sonya, but besides that, it's just like, why did you change Raiden's race? It doesn't make any 
any sense, it's actually quite confusing if you think about it. Like, if you're making a movie adaptation of something that already exists, and you cast somebody that doesn't look like their counterpart character that they're trying to play, it's like, why? Why Why did you do that? Half of the battle there is trying to find someone that actually looks like the character. Honestly, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get why Hollywood does that. Barely any blood or fatalities. I mean, come on, this is Mortal Kombat, man. You don't really have any blood or gore in your movie? Like, what? That was like the big reason that Mortal Kombat blew up, opposed to like all of the other fighting games. There was so much blood and gore, it was like, yeah, I want to play that one. That's the, that's the gross one. Let's do this. And then you go and make a movie without any of that? It's like, it totally ruins the spirit of Mortal Kombat. Really cheesy. Like, look, it's Mortal Kombat. You gotta throw a little bit of cheese on this sandwich, but you ain't throwing the whole block on there. This thing is really damn cheesy between the dialogue and the special effects that don't look so good. That's another one, by the way, that we can add to the list, is this horrible CGI effects. Although the practical effects I did just praise, the CGI looks god-awful. And I mean, if they could make Jurassic Park look that good with CGI back in 1993, in 1995, you'd think the special effects would look a little better in this movie. Moving into Mortal Kombat 2021, it is a little cheesy with the dialogue sometimes. Like, after Kano wins that fight, he literally goes, Kano wins. And there's even, like, another line of dialogue later on where someone just goes, Fatal. And it's like, okay, come on, like, <laughs> we get it. We, we know what we're watching here. So am I giving out the Ugly Award today? I mean, like, I kind of got to give it to the 1995 movie. Like, opposed to the, the new film, it's like, that film kind of sucks. <laughs> the nostalgia won't save you now, 1995 movie. The very clear and obvious winner of this fight, which I don't even think it's arguable, is the new Mortal Kombat. With a flawless victory. I mean, this film blows that other movie out of the water by comparison. But, like, even on its own, this is a great movie. I will watch watch this like a million more times before I die. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but so far this is probably my favorite film that I've seen of 2021. And there have been a lot of good ones so far. This movie really blew my mind. It blew everything out of the water. I did not think we were going to get a Mortal Kombat movie this good ever in my lifetime. But what did you guys think about the new Mortal Kombat? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching my versus video on the Mortal Kombat movies. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror adjacent content. And most of the time I'll be talking about actual horror movies. But I had to do this one. I mean, come on, it's Mortal Kombat. There's blood and gore and it. Give me a break. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Just look up Killjoy Jake and I'll come up. Check out my second channel, Movie Smoothie, where I review everything that isn't horror or horror adjacent. <laughs> you can check that out by going to my channel like, tab on my page here and like it'll be right there. Go subscribe, hopefully. Please consider supporting me on Patreon as well. The link for that will be in the description below. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.